Hey everybody, this is James from Rattlesnake Defense, and we're going to start 2023 out small. Very small. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're out here on a beautiful West Virginia evening. I'm going to show you the Beretta Model 21A Bobcat. This is a little 22 semi-auto Beretta. This is a gun that's been around for a long time. Taurus even made a copy of this gun uh, a few years back. We've sold them in my store for years, and it occurred to me that I actually don't know very much about them. So we can figure this out together the cool thing about this gun is that it has a toggle here that pops the barrel up so what you do is you load your round here close this put your loaded magazine in and you don't actually have to work the action so before the easy shields or anything like that we used to sell these to anybody that had like mobility problems with their fingers or arthritis or something like that but i'd never had one out to the range uh, this particular model, Flat Dark Earth, Cerakote, it's single action, double action. It has the threaded barrel. Now this one, because of the Cerakote and the threaded barrel, these run in about 550. Uh, it is a 22 long rifle. It has a seven round magazine plus the one in the chamber. Now you can work the action manually if you want to, but it is a lot easier to just open the barrel up, load your round, and try it out. So... I got a magazine here loaded up so we could do our first impressions on this. So we put the magazine in, get my ears on. I got my Barney Fife bullet in my pocket here. We load it. These are Winchester 40 grain 22s. I know a lot of the semi autos don't like a light grain bullet, so I didn't want to start out there. And let's see what happens. First round kicked up a little bit. All right. So we had a couple feeding errors there on the first, uh, mag through it which that's not uncommon on a 22 anybody that shoots these things know they can be really finicky so let's get some uh let's get some different ammunition and see if we can get a better result all right so try different ammunition and something i want to let everybody know is that this magazine can be overloaded um it'll fit one more than it's designed to if you push so be careful and make sure you count your rounds out when you're loading it it's supposed to be seven now let's see if we get a different result this time All right, listen, this gun's an asshole, all right? I've shot this off camera a little bit to test it. It has never acted up once. Every time I turn the damn camera on, this thing starts acting up. I, I wish I knew what the deal was. I guess it's just camera shy, but this thing's a lot more reliable than I'm making it look, I promise. Let's get it on target, see if it actually shoots straight. Okay, I got it figured out. We just need a little attention. It was getting dry. This was uh, bought pretty much bone dry, add a little oil, and now it seems to be functioning good. Those were actually 
like 20 year old Remington Thunderbolts, like the worst ammo I had in my bag. So as far as the reliability, I think we got that part figured out pretty good. So again, back to the, uh, back to the target. All right, so it's not terribly accurate. It's not amazingly reliable, but what it is is small. And like I said previously, this gun acted a lot better when I didn't have the camera on it than when it did. But it shoots as about as well as any little micro 22 long rifle I've shot. You might have to figure out exactly which ammo it prefers. You know, it's, you're not gonna be able to take this out of the box with whatever ammo they happen to have in stock in bulk and be reliable with it. That's probably not going to work here, but after playing with it for a little while, it is actually a surprising amount of fun because it is so small and it is a Beretta. You know, it's got that decent Beretta feel on the targets. You know, it was consistently low as you saw, and we did have a couple hangups, but I gotta be honest, it's got one thing going for it to be a gun the size it is. It's got the threaded barrel on it. So, if uh, nothing else, I can do this. And that's pretty fun too. So, just saying, I don't know if that's something you have, but it definitely increases the joy of shooting it. As far as a defense gun, it's not something I'd want one of my loved ones to, their life to depend on until I got it figured out, until I found the ammo. And it seems like the hotter the better. Um, this adds a little more blowback and it seems like it works flawlessly with it. So I think a higher power round, which I don't have any stingers or anything. I, I, most of the stuff I have here is target stuff. So it tends to be lower velocity. I think a really high velocity round, like a stinger or something like that would probably do really well in it. It'd actually be much more reliable, but feel free to fact check me on that. Um, you know, it's, it's a little pricey for what it is. There are a lot of 380s and other stuff in that market that are probably going to do a little better but it's easy to operate you don't have to work the slide so there's that and it is neat so you know draw your own conclusions you know i could cut the stuff out where i make a mistake or the gun malfunction stuff but i won't i try to leave everything in here so i could be as transparent and honest as possible i hope that matters um i appreciate everybody watching and please throw me a subscribe According to the analytics, 99.6 of you that watch aren't subscribed, and it's hard to get the YouTube algorithm to notice anybody that does, does gun videos. So uh, throw that down there. I appreciate you watching to this point, and I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe at the range. This is Rattlesnake Defense.